Welcome to Primo Trailer Sales and a first look at the Coachman Destination Series Model 39 BHTS, a family favorite here at Primo. Coachman this year is celebrating its 50th anniversary of bringing quality to both the campground and the, uh, the open road and certainly the, uh, the Catalina Series and their Destination Series here is, is certainly a family favorite uh, for our customers for, uh, for many years now. What we love is, is really the quality that you don't see uh, up top. You're going to notice we've got a truss roof, so it's a 5 inch truss roof, so it does shed water just like a home does. Uh, solid wood used there. Uh, there are floors, which you don't see under the beautiful tile linoleum, which we'll see in a second. We've got tongue and groove plywood flooring. There is no particle board in this floor. Up front here, we've got a removable tongue, so once on site. Uh, this could be removed if you do want to have a more of a landscaped front, perhaps uh, plant some trees and shrubs up front. We've got 30 pound propane bottles and uh, if the tongue is removed, they can be moved around to the side. No issues there. Up front on this model, the, uh, when we go inside, we'll see that this is the, uh, the large bedroom, uh, certainly the, the parents' bedroom. And uh, with the windows here, we've got a center window with, with front ventilation uh, and then a rear window in the back in the bunk room. So you get that flow from front to back as well as the cross. So you really get ventilation from all sides here. It's a two door model, which is great. So if you've got younger ones in the back or you're putting the bed, and certainly you guys are outside enjoying beautiful weather like we're having here today, you've got your own entrance in and out. We've got our 18-foot awning here, uh, certainly could be screened in as well, and then we've got exterior speakers, so you can enjoy radio, favorite music from an MP3 player through the speakers, and you can have a choice of inside or outside at the same time or individually. We've got our patio door being a destination model. Our hot water tank is located here, and then we do have a plug-in for TV. Uh, if you didn't want to have a TV set up out in the deck, you certainly can uh, can do that once it's on site. Furnace location out here. And we do have jacks to the rear as well as to the front. And then in this model, extremely popular feature, the outside kitchen, which really offers you all the, the best features of your inside kitchen, uh, but with a barbecue. Uh, you do have a nice shade here to, again, cover you from the sun on a hot day like today, or a little bit of light rain. Uh, you can still stay dry underneath. So we've got a grill here, Coleman grill. It could be removed as well, put on a picnic table, and then you could just use that as prep area. We've got our microwave there for reheating last night's dinner, so a quick lunch. We've got our beautiful hardwood uh, doors, so no MDF here. They are screwed and glued as well, so that's inside cabinetry as well as the outside. So lots of storage space there. Our outside electric fridge. We've got a sink that does link up to our holding tank, so we don't have to have additional setups there. And then we've got our cutlery drawer, as well as additional storage, just to the right. And what I really love is there is more electrical hookups outside. So you can have that coffee maker outside, perhaps a, an electric grill if you want to be able to heat uh, that pot of corn outside. Uh, lights as well for nighttime use, so it's really well featured. And a really popular feature now in a lot of our family floor plans. Let's take you inside now, and we'll have a, a look at this beautiful layout on the inside. So it is a two slide out model, so we're going to have slide outs in both the front bedroom as well as the main area. So we'll take you up front here, and uh, we're going to notice the, the windows and the light that creates in the front here just as we walk towards the front bedroom area. So again, center window can open up so you get that ventilation through the, the very front. And then you do have a screen door here which can be put in place. And then we will have a window on the back side of the door. you notice the pleated shade there, so a nice soft look and a little easier to clean as well. And that does have a window that can open. So you've got windows from three sides. And what I love here, it's a 6'4 interior height so they can put in two uh, interior fans which are great so that you don't have to run the air conditioning all the time it'll be quieter for you you'll notice it is a ducted air conditioning system so you'll see the vent there uh, front to back it's ducted and then you have in floor uh, furnace so your vents are in the floor front to back lots of storage here in the bedroom right across the front again the shades right across the windows and then we do have set up for a TV in the front here so you can have a, another TV area in the front controls for our uh, our fan. Easy storage underneath our bed area. We've got gas struts here so nice and easy to store your bags underneath. We've got our screen door we can see here that'll end up in our patio door area. Just behind me here we've got our full chest of drawers with plenty of storage space so you can really leave a lot of the items there you may use up at the cottage here up at the lake all the time. And as we enter the bathroom to the left, we've got a huge closet. So you have the option of uh, certainly eventually putting in a washer and dryer if you wanted to. But uh, most of our customers will end up using this as uh, storage for things like boots and things like that that you may occasionally use up there, but uh, just don't want to have in the way all the time. We've got our 
full vanity area with plugins, and our beautiful glass shower. It's a very large glass shower with a skylight above if you're a little taller. And then again, more storage in the bathroom area, so a great spot for tools, for uh, towels and sheets and all those items. We've got our porcelain toilet with a foot pedal toilet. As we enter into the main area, we do have a hard door we can close here to the bathroom so we can segment it off, make a large bathroom. So up top we've got our second ceiling fan, again draw that uh, cool air in from all sides because we do have windows all the way around the slide outs here. Uh, the ones on the far side will open, but at least on the ends you can see what's happening with the kids, uh, certainly as they play outside. Easy able to keep an eye on them when they're running around. And then we've got our beautiful patio door entrance, so we've got lots of light in here. And then up front, we've got our TV entertainment area, so it's already equipped with the, the mount, so the nice thing is it will come right out. And so if you do want to sit on the couch, you can really adjust it to wherever you are. And then you have the choice of mounting really a variety of sizes of TVs once you get to your lot. And then we do have the built-in uh, CD, MB3, DVD system. So everything is already built in, and all your hookups are just up front here, so there's no routing to have to do. Just set in your TV and away you go. We do have a Davenmore couch here that will fold flat, so you get an additional bed there and storage underneath uh, for items you're not using all the time. And then we do have our dinette that will drop into a bed, and then great storage underneath. And in the kitchen area, we've got our little breakfast bar area, so certainly we can add some stools if you wanted to at some point. And then we, you'll notice on the drawers here, we've got the uh, ball bearing steel drawer guides, so something that we don't see in uh, all the products on the market these days. So little things behind the scenes, especially with, uh, again, walls, floors, ceilings. We've got 12-inch uh, centers on the floors. Make sure that that flooring stays exactly where it is over the long haul. Nice deep cabinets up here. Again, all screwed and glued. Solid wood doors. That will last the test of time. Center here in the kitchen, we've got monitor panel, so this will show us um, certainly what uh, which tanks are full or need emptying. We've got our switch for our water pump there if it's ever needed, and then we've got our hot water tank switch. It's a propane electric hot water tank, so we've got the ability to turn on the propane side from the inside. So lots of storage here in the kitchen area. And as we head to the back, we've got our full-size fridge, so we've got a residential fridge here. So the great thing is that uh, you can really pack things in for the weekend or if you're there for a week. You can make sure you do one grocery and then you're, you're done. And then we've got our deep pantry area here as well. So lots of storage there for cans and items that you're going to want to pick up there that you don't have to cart back and forth. And then we've got our thermostat here so it controls our air conditioning and our furnace and everything all in one. And then just below that is our converter, breaker box, fuse panel, uh, power converter. So everything all, all in one. We've got a hard door here we can close for the kids' room or guest room. So again, give them their privacy. And then just inside the door to your left, we've got an area again to uh, hang clothes and hide bags and keep things out of the way. What I love about this bunk room is the amount of light. Uh, you just don't see this in the industry today. You've got, uh, in this case, windows on all sides. You've got four windows in this back room plus a vent in the ceiling. So you get a tremendous amount of airflow on a hot day and you also get a lot of light on a darker day. And uh, here we've got the area where we could mount a secondary TV, so turn it into a bit of a den. We've got our ladder already mounted in that leads us up to our wider bunk. So certainly for the teens and the family, you've got lots of space or even an adult. And the nice thing here is we've got the availability for either two single beds or we can make one large queen bed back here if we want. And then during the day you've got a couch area. And then our bunk up top, it folds away, so during the day we can sit, uh, even put some chairs in here. We've certainly had customers change them to chairs over time. But should you need the bunk, it's there to, uh, to drop down at any time. So this is our second slide here in the back. And again, lots of ventilation, so all four windows in the back will open as well as our ceiling uh, vent. So lots of airflow on the hot days. So the hope would be that uh, air conditioning can be minimized and you can just enjoy the light breeze hopefully coming off the water. We certainly think you're going to enjoy the vast open spaces here, the exterior kitchen, and just the build quality that Coachman brings and Primo Trailer Sales for the last uh, 50 years of Coachman's uh, manufacturing. Come on down to Primo Trailer Sales. We'd love to show you this model in more depth than many others like it.